Humanoids are the ultimate ambition. Machines built not just to fight alongside soldiers, but to become them. The most famous of all is Atlas, created by Boston Dynamics under DARPA's Robotics Challenge. Standing 1.5 meters tall and weighing 90 kilograms, Atlas runs, jumps, lifts, and even performs parkour. Its hydraulic limbs and advanced balance algorithms let it maneuver through obstacles like a trained athlete. In recent demos, Atlas has carried heavy boxes, vaulted over gaps, and flipped with gymnastic precision. For now, it remains unarmed and experimental, but its capabilities reveal what humanoid warfighters might achieve. The agility of a human with the endurance of a machine. Then there's Tesla's Optimus, a different philosophy. Optimus isn't built for stunts. It's designed for scalability. Elon Musk's goal is a low-cost, mass-produced humanoid that can work anywhere humans can, including dangerous or monotonous environments. It uses electric actuators, vision-based AI borrowed from Tesla's self-driving program, and modular hands capable of manipulating tools or, one day, weapons. While Tesla frames Optimus as industrial labor, defense analysts see the inevitable. Once the mobility and dexterity exist, militaries will adapt them. Russia's Fedor robot showed another approach, a humanoid designed for teleoperation. It fired pistols, drove vehicles, and even assisted in spacecraft tasks. China's Cyber One and Walker X focus on perception and interaction, mimicking human motion for both industrial and military applications. But why humanoids? Because war zones are built for people. Stairs, hatches, doorways, cockpits, all designed to human scale. A robot that mimics our anatomy can use existing infrastructure without modification. It can carry stretchers, drive vehicles, or replace infantry in urban combat.